Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This video is about rubella infection and this is also known as German or 3 day measles. Rubella infection is caused by a single stranded RNA virus which has a glycolipid envelope. This virus is a member of the Choga virus family. Humans are the only natural host. Now rubella virus invades the respiratory epithelium and disseminate via a primary viremia. After replication in the reticuloendothelial system, a secondary viremia occurs. Now at this stage, the virus can be isolated from the peripheral blood monocytes, cerebrospinal fluid and the urine. Now rubella virus can be acquired through direct or droplet contact with the nasopharyngeal secretions. It is most contagious from 2 days before until 5 to 7 days after the onset of rash. Infection in utero results in congenital rubella syndrome. In this case, baby usually have significant morbidity from ophthalmological, cardiac and neurological manifestations. Maternal infection during the first trimester of the pregnancy results in fetal infection with generalized vasculitis and this occurs in more than 90% of the cases. Now, infant with congenital rubella syndrome may also shed the virus in the nasopharyngeal secretions and urine for more than 12 months after birth and so they can transmit it to the susceptible contacts. Now, in unvaccinated populations, rubella usually occur in the spring season and epidemics occur in cycles every 6 to 9 years. Approximately 25 to 50 percent of the cases are subclinical. Outbreak occasionally occur in non-vaccinated group from internationally imported cases. Now, transplacently acquired antibody is protective during the first 6 months of life. Now the clinical manifestations. The incubation period for postnatal rubella is typically 16 to 18 days. The mild catarrhal symptoms of the prodromal phase of the rubella may go unnoticed. Characteristic signs of the rubella are retroauricular, posterior cervical and posterior occipital lymphadenopathy. This is accompanied by an erythematous maculopapular and discrete rash. The rash begins on the face and spreads to the rest of the body. This lasts for about 3 days and it is less prominent than that of the measles. Now, rose-colored spots also occur on the soft palate in about 20% of the patient and these may appear before the rash. These spots are known as Forsheimer spots. Now, other manifestations of the rubella include mild pharyngitis, conjunctivitis, anorexia, headache, malaise, and low-grade fever. Polyarthritis, usually of the hands, may occur especially among adult females, but this usually resolves and paresthesias and tendinitis may also occur in rubella. Now the diagnosis. Routine laboratory findings are non-specific and generally do not aid in the diagnosis. The WBC count usually is normal or low and thrombocytopenia rarely occurs. Now diagnosis is confirmed by serological testing for the IgM antibodies and these are typically positive 5 days after the symptom onset. Diagnosis can also be made by a fourfold or greater increase in the specific IgG antibodies in the paired acute and convalescent serum. Now congenital rubella syndrome cases can have detectable IgM antibodies until 3 months of age and stable or rising IgG titers over the first 7 to 11 months of age. Now false positive IgM antibody result in some cases. Now the differential diagnosis. The rash must be differentiated from measles, roseola, enteroviral or adenoviral infection, infectious mononucleosis, toxoplasmosis, scarlet fever, rickettsial disease, Kawasaki disease, serum sickness, and drug rash. Now, there is no specific therapy for rubella, and treatment is generally supportive. Now, the complications and prognosis. 
other than the congenital rubella syndrome arising from the rubella infection during pregnancy complications of rubella are rare but death rarely occur with rubella encephalitis now the prevention live rubella vaccine prevents the infection it is recommended as mmr for the children at 12 to 15 months and at 4 to 6 years of age after vaccination, rubella virus is shed from the nasopharynx for several weeks, but it is not communicable. In children, rubella vaccine rarely is associated with adverse effects. However, in post-pubertal females, it causes arthralgia in 25% and acute arthritis-like symptoms in 10% of the vaccinated individuals. Now, these symptoms typically develop 1 to 3 weeks after the vaccination and may last 1 to 3 days. Now, there are some contraindications to the rubella vaccine. These include immunocompromised states and immunosuppressive course of the corticosteroids, pregnancy or recent administration of the immunoglobulin. Now, no cases of congenital rubella syndrome have been identified among the infants born to mother who are vaccinated against rubella during the pregnancy. Nevertheless, women are cautioned to avoid pregnancy for 28 days after receiving the rubella-contained vaccine. All pregnant women should have prenatal serological testing to determine their immune status to rubella. Susceptible mothers should be vaccinated after delivery or before hospital discharge. Susceptible non-pregnant persons exposed to rubella should receive rubella vaccination. And immunoglobulin is not recommended for post-exposure prophylaxis of the susceptible pregnant women exposed to rubella. Ok friends, thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more informative health videos.